A happy ending for a Toronto woman who was given a four-day deportation notice. Laura Suchet came to Canada when she was 12 years old, and this week the CBSA came knocking on her door, told her to pack her things and leave the country by Saturday. It was a devastating ordeal until this afternoon when she received life-changing news. Whew, uh, surreal. I feel like I'm in a dream. Uh, the miracle happened. I'm so happy. Still in total disbelief after an unexpected decision that allows Laura Suchet to stay in the country she calls home. I'm just overwhelmed and so happy. It hasn't hit me yet. I'm, uh, I have my freedom back. It has been a roller coaster of emotions for the 30-year-old who moved here from France with her mother when she was just 12 years old. At the time, she says her family received bad advice from an immigration consultant that led to years of legal issues. In November, Laura decided to apply for permanent residency, but her case was flagged and on Tuesday she was asked to leave the country with four days' notice. This afternoon, the Minister of Immigration intervened and issued a temporary resident permit for Laura, meaning she now has status and can legally stay in the country. Her family was with her when she received the news. We just screamed at the top of our lungs. We were in tears out of nowhere. I just flushed in tears and everyone was just thrilled with joy. My situation here in Canada, it's something that I hid for so many years because I was in fear. And... Um, the amount of support that has come back has been amazing. Her lawyer says this is a fair result for a Canadian dreamer who came into this country as a child and made it her home, adding a better process should be in place for the thousands of others in similar situations. That's your biggest fear essentially in coming forward is they're going to come to my house and they're going to get me because you're volunteering this information to them, right. which is exactly what happened to Laura. She volunteered it, she applied for it, and then they came and picked her up at her home. In the meantime, Laura is able to apply for a legal work permit, a study permit, health care, and she can even get her driver's license. She had this message for her lawyers today. You are exactly what I wanted when I was 12 years old. And thank you for all the the work you've been put, putting in this because I'm free now and this, this has been my biggest wish my entire life. The temporary permit gives the government enough time to properly process Laura's application for residency on humanitarian and compassionate grounds. It is her pathway to permanent residency that can take up to a year. For City News, I'm Tina Yazdani.